Hello and welcome to another edition of Inside Dayton. I'm Andrew Estevez with the City's Office of Communications and Public Affairs. Today I'm here at the intersection of Wayne and Wyoming with David Escobar. He is the city engineer and we're going to be talking about a widening project that's going to be happening from Wyoming Street to Waldo Street, which is just up the hill right short of Esther Price. So tell me about that project. Yeah, so uh, the Wayne Avenue widening project, uh, we're adding a two-way left turn lane uh, along Wayne Avenue to, to take vehicles out of the travel lane and put them into a turn lane so when they're trying to go to Walgreens and uh, Kroger they're able to not get rear-ended or, or, or out of the travel lane uh, for vehicular traffic. We're also going to add a, uh, a center median for pedestrian crossings. Uh, there's currently a rapid flashing beacon right now okay. uh, but there will actually be a refuge island for the for the um, the pedestrians that'll cross across the street. Okay great yeah this is a, a very highly traveled section of roadway as you know right uh, it'll be really nice to have that turn lane there because as you're coming down the hill I mean you've got two lanes of travel in either direction but when somebody slows down to make that left turn you got so much traffic it often takes a while to be able to do that safely and then traffic backs up and that's where you have the accidents correct right? yeah and so that's kind of the results of the funds uh, for this project their safety funds because we saw a lot of uh, rear-end accidents with uh, vehicles still being in the travel lanes, people coming over the hill not being able to see them or stop okay. uh, quickly enough. So that way we take them out of the travel lane uh, and put them in a safe uh, lane that, for themselves. So uh, I know people get a little bit frightened when you say widening, you're adding more, more lanes of traffic, but this is really a safety feature of getting people out of the traffic. Right, and it's so. all data driven. I mean, we've seen that there's there's a lot of accidents here and we want to try right. and just make it safer for people. Correct, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So we work with the Ohio Department of Transportation, ODOT, uh, and, and to get it funded. So they, they helped us out with studies and, and uh, data analytics on it, and then we're able to ultimately get it funded. Okay, so. great. Uh, moving on then, there's another project that I wanted to talk to you about, and that is the uh, Wolf Creek Stabilization Project. Now this one is obviously highly visible, but the Wolf Creek Stabilization is actually going on behind the old Western Arms apartment on James H. McGee, and there's a lot of work going on back there, but you really can't see it from the road. So tell me what we're doing there. Yeah, so the Wolf Creek Stabilization Project is uh, a succession of projects that are, are kind of timing up for the creation of a bike path that will go from uh, Bridge Street all the way out to the Wesleyan Metro Park. So uh, what we're doing right now is kind of reclaiming the banks of the Wolf Creek. The Wolf Creek has slowly eroded the uh, north banks and, and pushed it away so that we can't build the path in there. So we're reclaiming that path, adding some natural vegetation, some rock channels, some ripple areas uh, for, the, for the habitat and the wildlife uh, in the area. And then we'll have a, a bike path that we can put, put through there to connect into Wesleyan uh, Metro Park. As I, as I said, the succession of projects, we did demolition for the uh, existing structures you kind of referenced previously. Uh, and then added a, a bridge for the bike pass so that it'll ultimately connect all the way out. Okay, great. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, this is just part of uh, a couple of shows I'm going to be doing about projects that we have upcoming so that you know in advance what's going on and, you know, how your tax dollars are being spent. Right. So, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for being on the show, David. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. And thanks for watching. So I'll be back soon with another episode.